Hello and welcome aboard this stunning 2018 Sabre 38 Salon Express Margarita. I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales and I'm going to take you on a detailed walkthrough tour of this Sabre 38. She's very well equipped with only 245 hours. Very nice boat and if you're looking for a late model Sabre 38 SE, this is the boat for you. Alright, so here we are on the dock in Barrington, Rhode Island taking a look at Margarita. This Sabre 38 is a very popular model and you guys are going to see why. Great layout, just an awesome boat with a ton of space under 40 feet. So I'm going to describe quite a few of the features. This will be a pretty walk, detailed walkthrough tour for you. Um, and we'll start here in the aft cockpit. So as you can see, we've got the SureShade uh, electronic opening sunshade. So um, I've got that opened up here, give us some shade in the cockpit. We've got quite a few really cool electric opening features on this boat that I'm gonna show you. So um, we'll take a peek at those. Um, the first one here, we've got our transom um, with the big swim platform, which is very nice. These owners don't run with a tender. Um, they just go dock to dock um, and hang out on the mooring. So um, could easily put a um, Davit system back here uh, of your choice. But um, what we've got here is this um, seat actually electrically uh, comes back here and I'm gonna kind of tuck this flag in so you can see it. Into the cockpit. You can see we've got um, a little bit less space here but it's allowing us more room on the swim platform and with this seat button here I'm just going to push that seat back and all of a sudden we gain an extra couple of feet here for entertainment space. And I'll show you what it looks like on the swim platform. You know, totally can run the boat like this. Um, just a little overhang there. Really clever feature to get a little extra space here. Um, this window electrically lowers as well. You can see we've got the window button there. Um, and then my engine hatch opens electrically back here too. So I'll show you that at the end of the tour. Um, Give you a glimpse inside the salon there but we'll walk around the exterior of the boat really really great condition um, she just uh, came out of her indoor heated storage bay here at the yard no crazing at all on the gel coat she's in good condition she's got the molded non-skid um, with the two-tone tan non-skid there got our storage hatches up here for lines and fenders Got a saltwater wash down as well as fresh water over here. And our quick windlass with the foot pedals. And then there's a control at the helm as well. Stainless steel burgee staff. Kallenberg air horn. We've got the TV, uh, KVH TV3 satellite TV. Garmin HD radar. Our searchlight and the Airmar weather station up there, among a few other things. Coming in here to the salon pilot house. Huge U-shaped settee to port. This table manually drops down and there's a filler piece. Um, so the current owners have used this quite a bit. Um, they've actually uh, said they slept six people, three couples on the boat multiple times this last summer. Um, very comfortable and um, they have tall sons and grandsons. So. Um, this uh, big berth up here was really helpful. And um, I won't convert it into the berth, but I will convert it into um, a really cool feature is we have a convertible co-pilot helm seat here, which I'm gonna show you just in a second. So you can have you know, more forward facing. If you're on a longer trip, you can um, have your co-pilot be facing forward with a nice seat back and everything, um, not, just, not just the captain here. Um, I've got a TV that comes out of this little hatch here, which I'll show you here. It comes up nice and high for a very nice viewing angle from the U-shaped settee here. I love this layout. It is, um, that's one thing that Sabre does really better than everyone else is their layouts are incredible. Um, and I'm sure you'll agree as we go through the boat. 
So here at the helm, we've got our Volvo IPS joystick here, really easily accessible. I've got an opening window so I can kind of reach outside the window there as I'm docking the boat. Very easy throttles right here. Um, all of my horn and um, windshield wipers, bilge alarms, all that good stuff. Um, and then my big, huge, oversized Garmin touchscreen display there um, with the chart plotter. It's got AIS, all that good stuff. And the two Garmin um, four inch displays. Here is our um, another Garmin screen. This is, acts as our engine display. We can bring it up on the big screen too. And you can see right there, just under 245 hours. Um, no hours, you know, very low hours there and you know, almost none on the generator too. Um, I'll show you that here. As we get that fired up, that panel there for the generator, you can see we have our DC systems up top here, um, as well as our main uh, uh, breaker switches for the batteries. And then down below is our AC, um, see our toggle switch for shore power generator um, and all of our uh, 110, 220 systems here. Um, so switch through. There's our engine hours on the uh, generator. So 36 hours, you know, barely used here. Um, typical New England, New England boat. And now I'll convert this um, side station for you here. All right, here we go. All that didn't take too long. And really awesome little nook there. And heading down below, we get a look at our U-shaped galley here to port. Lots of storage here uh, for a 38 foot boat. We've got the Vitra, Vitra Free Grow uh, fridge and freezers, a dual burner uh, Kenyan stove here with the pop-up pop pot holders big stainless steel sink with the drinking water. Um, we also have a filler piece that goes in here um, and a lot of storage um, throughout here. Cuisinart convection microwave oven, um, really nice deep drawer storage on the boat. And then we've got your trash space and then some nice storage there as well. And going behind us here, a little aft, got this nice little seating area um, and this is more commonly converted into a berth so this slides out and creates another nice full-size berth here and we've got more storage back here and one of my favorite features of this boat I've got it kind of quite a bit of stuff back here um, get out of the way for the walkthrough tour but really nice big storage area down here for all types of different things. If you have blow up stand up paddle boards and whatnot, it's a really good place to store those. Um, there is a little Samsung TV in here. We've got TVs all over the place. So nice spot to sit and relax out of the bright sunlight. Um, I already showed you the panel here and then we've got Jack and Jill entrance to big stand up shower stall. Really nice uh, hair shoff finish on the bathroom here, electric Jabsco toilet, and the basin sink, and there's your entrance, privacy entrance, the master. Nice clean area there. So another feature that I like about this boat is how open we are to the main stateroom. And when I'm looking in here, I'm looking through this opening area and the privacy door, which makes the boat feel a lot bigger down here. And I've got a couple of the sunshades shut too, just to keep the, the glare off of the walkthrough, but um, really nice open and airy. And I can also really cleverly um, cover this up, which with another electric uh, feature on the boat. So I've got a little toggle switch here uh, just down below. So in creating some more privacy to the master, I'm also revealing the another Samsung TV. So this is a great feature because when you're in here, you know, in bed watching TV, you're gonna want some privacy. 
from the rest of the boat and you know block out the light as well. Um, so we'll raise this up and then kind of show you around a bit. So close this privacy door. Big Center Island Queen. Lots of storage in here. All this cherry on the interior really gives a rich, warm feel. Cedar lined, hanging locker. This boat's in excellent condition. Got our air conditioning control there. And I'm gonna go up here, you can see, just like that, we've got the TV there. And um, my privacy door to the head. Just a really cool layout. It's awesome that you can open all this up and then still have privacy. And let's take a look at the engine and mechanical space. All right, so hopping down into here, we have our nicely laid out mechanical space, Cummins own in gen set in the middle here between the IPS drives, port and starboard. Got the Volvo IPS 400s, and this is a really nice feature here. We've got the uh, basically the stainless steel swim ladder mounted here to make for a little easier access. I just hopped down because I'm going to show you guys forward as well. Um, but taking a look in here, we've got all of our tankage and systems layout is awesome. So you can see Reverso oil change pump. Um, owner's got some fishing rods stored down here aircon intake, all the electrical wirings laid out really nicely, some spares. As you can see down here, there is tons of extra room for folding bikes or paddle boards, you know, whatever, whatever toys you want to store down here. Our batteries and the Fireboy system. Um, a really nice, clean mechanical space here. Give you another walkthrough around the back of the boat. Thank you for watching this walkthrough tour. If you have any questions about Margarita, please feel free to call, text, or email me. My contact information is right below the video. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks.